Dear 12th class students, today's topic is memorandum. This is on page number 40 of your language skills book. So in your examination, you will be given a question on memorandum and you will be asked to write a memorandum based on that question, based on the situation given to you. So you will be asked to write memorandum based on that situation given to you and it will be carrying six marks. So uh, let's learn how to write a memorandum and then I will be providing you some samples of memorandum and then I will be giving you some tasks which you need to practice at your home. So coming to the first slide memo or memorandum is memo is short form of memorandum derived from latin word to be which means to be remembered it's an internal form of communication that's inside an organization it is historical records or policies it is to be short or concise so this memo is actually short form for the word memorandum which is a latin word which means to be remembered so basically it's a kind of document where you write to remind certain people or to remember certain information or instruction now uh, as compared to business letters and emails where it is normally uh, external communication uh, which means that's uh, communication between your company and other parties that's outside of your company but these memos or memorandum are actually the internal form of communication that is within the company so within the people in the same office different departments in the same office or everyone in the within the company so it may be between the seniors and the juniors between the boss and the employees so maybe about uh, we write it about uh, jobs or some kind of motivation or for or to give any news or information so basically this is what this is an internal form of communication and uh, uh, these are uh, known to be as historical records or policies so documents these documents records all the activities all the actions or changes or um, or uh, uh, or updating a, a different thing or a change or uh, activities or policies of a company so uh, whenever uh, whenever a company has to uh, change a policy or record any activity uh, so a company goes for memorandum so these are documents basically that record all the activities actions or changes in the policies of a company so and it is to be uh, short and concise it means that uh, memo should basically convey all the information in the smallest amount uh, of the text possible now why do we write memorandum as i already told you that it may be between uh, seniors and juniors between the boss and the other employees or maybe other staff members so we do write it to inform the reader some specific purpose some specific information and uh, to take any action or to react to a situation and sometimes we write memorandum to give a report so format is i will be providing your format but before that let's see it um, so in a memorandum we have a memo number so memo number is important if there is given memo if uh, in uh, the question being asked to you in examination if number is given there you will write that number but if the number is not mentioned there just write of your own be it any number just you can write three six five d oblique five three two anything of your own so memo number is very important and it is to be written at the top and before that you will write in capital letters in bold letters memo or memorandum so so then after memo number after memo number just below that you will write name of the organization the organization uh, who is writing this memorandum actually so uh, these memo and name of the organization will be in the middle 
at the top just below the memo number you will write name of the organization if uh, the name of the organization will be there in the question so then you will be writing this uh, receiver's name first you will write to you will write you will write uh, from name of the person who has sent it and his designation so you will write memo number the name of the organization then you will write name of the person who has sent it from it means who is writing it who has sent it so you will you will be writing name of the person followed by designation his position his status his designation then you will be writing then you will be writing receiver's name means you will write to so you will write to and then uh, that means the name of the person whom you are writing to and followed by his position his status and in, sometimes it may be in a generic term example you are writing to uh, so many more than one people so you will uh, you will be writing uh, all members of abc company or you can write all employees of abc company so more if you are writing more than one people addressing more than one people you uh, you you can write this all members of uh, abc company and followed by the position so then you will be mentioning date you will write date and subject will be according to the situation according to the question being asked to you you will frame a subject what the question is about what the memorandum is about is it about any examination is it about any job is it about any leave so you will frame a subject a subject according to the memorandum then comes body and that means the content you are going to write then at the end you write the list of the people who are gonna receive a copy of the memorandum let's see its format here so uh, this number is a memo number so at the top in the middle you are going to write memo number just below that you are going to write name of the organization who is writing this and then the person who is writing this memorandum may be a principal may be any secretary of some company or something like that then you will write his name if name is uh, i guess name will be there in the question and you will write the, that name there and follow followed by the designation maybe his principal maybe his secretary maybe his uh, any uh, position holder so you will just write his name you will write uh, the sender's name and then followed by the designation just below that you will write uh, this whom you are sending this uh, to you will write his name and followed by his designation his position or status as earlier i mentioned if you are addressing more than one people or in a journey generic term example you can write uh, all the members of dash 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 all the employees of uh, abc school so something like that then you will mention date and it is very important be it like this because this kind of format often creates confusion that whether it is uh, 10 and 6 whether this is month and day or this is day or month so to avoid confusion to avoid confusion just write in this format so then subject should be clear and in sentence case subject should be clear it should be according to the situation according to the question being asked to you according to the memo and then we have body and content so 
it can be short and can be long because uh, you want it to be concise and straight to the point to make people easy understand so uh, maybe some people uh, do not have enough time sometimes so you may include few points and you have to be careful while uh, writing this opening of this uh, memorandum like who what where when try to answer these questions try to state your mention your objectives and give some background information also so then uh, this is the opening part where you are going to keep in mind these w's then comes the discussion part where you will be giving some extra so in a uh, discussion part you can give some details of the memo whether it's information or instruction or you can just give previous information um, previous uh, decision or uh, that will help reader to understand why the change has been made and how and why has to uh, why it needed to be changed so this extra information will help the reader and understand why the information given is important and then comes the summary that's a, a closing of this memorandum so you can make just recommendation suggestion or uh, you can just write some solutions or call for an action and you can just uh, write it in bullet points then uh, comes the signature of the authority who is issuing authority who is issuing this memorandum and then copy to whom you are going to send these so it means uh, so you will write the list of people who are going to receive a copy of this memorandum you are writing so what do you do you just read the question carefully find out what you have been asked for and there must not be any irrelevant information in your memo just be clear be concise and it should be to the point no irrelevant information should be there in your memo it should be related to question then you have this we have this sample number is mentioned here so this is a memo number and then government senior secondary school pitampura new delhi is name of the organization and then from who is writing it is mr r k dhawan principal so name followed by name followed by his designation so mr r k dhawan is a principal so a name followed by designation to whom you are writing you are writing principal is writing to miss rita sharma and she is academic coordinator so a name followed by designation then you have date 10 june 2005 and then we have subject so this whole whole memorandum is about meeting about tuesday's meeting so subject will be tuesday meeting then we have this opening paragraph summary discussion action and copy to these people so this memorandum responds to your request that the tuesday meeting with the respect to in charge be shifted from 9 am to 8 am the request is satisfactory as long as it's approved by the management management really has no problem with time change in meetings as long as the meeting minutes are turned in by noon at the reception i have already discussed this issue with the respective in charge and they do not appear to have any problem now we need to approval from the management representatives and signature of the issuing authority here 
principle is written here and then we have copy to these members copy to these people who will receive a copy of this memorandum so memo number is written here and then name of the organization and then the person on behalf uh, who is writing this memorandum his name it followed by designation to whom he is writing her name and designation then date subject the memorandum is about meeting then you are going to write the content body and will close accordingly now we have another Preeti Madan is a TGT teacher, teacher science in Rainbow Model School, Lodhi Road, New Delhi. She wishes to appear for her MED exams, so she requests the principal to grant her permission to take the exam. She is granted permission through the following memorandum. So, she is being granted per, uh, permission to appear in the examination via this memorandum so look here number is here just write of your own name of the organization Preeti Madan is a TGT teacher science in Rainbow Model School Lodhi Road New Delhi this will be the name of the organization Rainbow Public School Lodhi Road New Delhi and then who is writing it principal is giving permission to her so see this question she is granted permission through the following memorandum so who will grant permission principal is going to grant her permission so she requests look here so she requests her principal to grant her permission to take the exam she is granted permission through the following memorandum so principal will be sender so uh, uh, mr satish kumar the name was not mentioned here in the question so you can write of your own but his designation is mentioned so she requests the principal so designation is mentioned here to and the receiver is sender is this and the receiver is Preeti because she needs permission so Miss Preeti Madan TGT science so date is mentioned there and then subject will be according to the question so what was here she wishes to appear for her MED exam so it was about it's about her MED exams so she needs permission so the subject will be permission for MED exams then with reference to the application of Miss Preeti Madan dated so she has already requested principal so a kind of reference is being made uh, a previous uh, action is being referred a previous activity like uh, she has already applied for uh, permission she has already asked for permission so with reference to the application of Miss Preeti Madan dated 1st July 2005 on the above request above subject permission is hereby granted to Miss Preeti Madan to appear for diligently and can be withdrawn without notice if she shows negligence oh, for MED exams, this permission is only granted if she discharges her duties diligently and can be withdrawn without notice if she shows negligence. So, no special leave will be granted to her for preparation for the examination. This is with the approval of the competent authorities and uh, signature of the issuing authority that is the principal who is actually writing it and then copy to the people who are going to receive this copy of memorandum so memo number is important you are going to write this at the top in the middle memo number and then name of the organization then the person who is writing the person whom you are writing the name and followed by the designation then date then subject and then the body will be according to the question being asked and then signature of the issuing authority and copy to the persons who are going to receive this copy 
now you have two tasks which you need to do at your home dog uh, it's about you have two ta task and first one is dr prabhat mukherjee is a reader in political science in government college kolkata so this is name of the organization he wants to attend a seminar in jammu for 10 days he requests his principal on june 1st 2005 to grant him permission for the abo from june uh, 15 to 25 june 2000 he is granted permission through a memorandum you have to write it between 15 to 50 to 80 words so it's same as this one permission is granted for uh, attending the seminar so you will be mentioning the dates so you'll be writing a uh, number you will be writing here number of your own then you will be writing name of the organization just below the number just below the number you will write name of the organization that's this and then he is granted permission through a memorandum then then you will write who is writing it and so this is from he is granted permission uh, he wants to attend a, sem a seminar so he requested his principal so uh, principal granted him permission so it will be written f by principal so principal you will uh, write name of your own followed by his resignation principal and then to this is for dr prabhat mukherjee and his designation he is a reader in political science this will be his designation then you will mention date and then you will be writing subject so this is about uh this is about giving him permission to attend a seminar so this will be his subject and then body you will frame accordingly like you can go through the earlier one and then you will conclude it and sign and you will write signature of the issuing authority then copy to the other staff members or the other colleagues similarly you have miss aarti saha is a primary teacher in tagore public school bangalore so this will be the name of the you will write memo number name of the organization will be this and then she wishes to proceed an extraordinary leave of one year so this will be the subject she is in need of one year leave so this will be the subject from 1st september 2005 to 1st september 2006 to join her husband in canada on 1st uh, august 2005 she requests her principal to grant her leave for the above she is granted permission so uh, she is granted permission through a memorandum so you will write just memo number here at the top the name of the organization will be tagore public school bangalore and then you will be writing who is writing this permission is being granted by principal so you will write uh, name is not mentioned here you will just write name of your own abc followed by designation principal or uh, principal tagore public school bangalore and then he is writing to the person who is going to receive will be miss arti saha his uh, her designation is primary teacher so then will be you will be mentioning date and then you will be mentioning subject extraordinary leave uh, of one year then you will be writing body in reference to the request made by or in reference to the application submitted by arti saha in terms of uh, uh, an extraordinary extraordinary leave of one year from this date to this date to join her husband in canada or you can skip it so the permission is uh, granted to miss uh, arti saha and you will just accordingly conclude and then she is asked to join before this date and you will frame your sentences accordingly and then you will write a uh, signature of the issuing authority that's the principal you will just write at the blue and then you will write copy to members copy to uh, staff copy to clerical staff or something like that 
ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ